What's up guys, Josh here. Today I'm going to review a 2019 Honda Civic CVT model here at Honda Universe in Lakewood, New Jersey. Now I'm gonna be going over everything you need to know to help you decide if the Honda Civic CVT is the right vehicle for you. Let's get started. So the Honda Civic CVT model is a Civic designed with a very aggressive and sporty look. This is probably one of the highest appearance packages that Honda has to offer for this vehicle. Now let's take a walk over here. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at that mean look in the front. Go over here as you can see. You got the blacked out grill. The little Honda emblem right there. Take a look at one of the headlights. This is what the headlights look like. And probably not the best look, but that's what they look like. Show you the other side, the right hand side, so you can see that. Much better since the sun is facing that way. <clears throat> Over here we got a fog light on the bottom. see right there so that's just what the front looks like it's got a very mean look to it nothing else I could say really all right let's walk on the other side so you can see here it's got alloy wheels I don't know if they're alloy wheels but they most likely are because look correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section they have Goodyear 235 40R18 tires. It's got the regular four wheel disc brakes and is geared with the front strut and the rear multi link suspension. Now let's take a look over here. We got one of the mirrors. So you can see here, just kind of looks like a normal mirror. Over here, we got the door handle, which kind of blends nicely with the paint. Same color as the paint. It's not one of those black or white door handles. It blends in really nice. It's just another look on another side of the car at the back end. Really liking that look, man. So, take a look over here. We got the back of the vehicle, which got the tail lights. If you look at them, they have a kind of curvy look, almost sort of like half a circle. And kind of looks a little different from a sedan. It's actually a hatchback. And if you look down here, that is the exhaust system. It only has one exhaust, which is in the middle which I find quite interesting because most exhausts are on this side. Or if it's dual exhausts, they're on both sides. All right, so let's take a look at one of the tail lights up close to look at the left. So you can see, as I was saying earlier, it kind of looks somewhat like a oval, half a circle. And here you got, you know, the Honda emblem right there. You got the little backup camera and the little plate cover of where this thing is at on the universe. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop open the trunk. Voila, opens right up. Now, if you take a look inside the trunk, it's, I guess, not too bad of a size. Let's get in there. This way you get a better view. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I mean, it's not a whole, whole lot of room, but it's, it's good, you know, if you want to fit some stuff back here. Probably not too best if you want to bring a whole lot of camping stuff or anything like that. 
or whatnot. So, yeah, it's pretty much everything in the trunk. It's got some mats. I guess, you know, they're for seats. Yeah, they are for seats. Well, this here is the seat fall button. So let's say if you want more room for storage, you know, let's say you got a big long box or maybe some long fishing pole that can't go into a million pieces. So all you gotta do is push that button and the back of the trunk folds down, giving you more cargo space. Let's see if I could Nah, I don't want to interfere too much. I don't want to break it. So yeah, back to the front. What I uh, neglect to mention is, is a sport model. That's why it looks the way it looks. And let's go on this side. <clears throat> you got the gas thing. Which, oh, I presume you just open like I just did. And... You just pop the thing in there and you put in gas. So it is direct injection fuel. Normally, I'm not too sure, you gotta look at the manual. Either regular, premium, or supreme is best. And yeah, that's pretty much it for exterior. So let's look at the interior. All right, now stepping into the vehicle. It is hot in here. So, you know, I'll show you the view you got. That's what the view looks like of the Honda Civic. If you drive one or if you ride one too, you get an idea of what your view is going to look like either way. And, oh, guys, I might have to you know, I'm turn on the AC. It is just a little over 90 degrees here in New Jersey. Whew, let's see if that air comes on. Looks like we may have a full tank of gas. Because you can see here that the red, little red dot is... All right, so let's look at the door panel controls over here. Controls your mirrors, controls the left, that controls the right. I'll show you the left. So, you know, it controls the sight of how you want the mirror to be lined when you're driving. And same for that side. Actually, you know, kind of adjusting when I take this out for a test drive, which is my first time actually going to drive the car too. Normally I didn't get to drive the cars because you know number one I was a little nervous to ask because you know I didn't I didn't feel I had big enough leverage yet. And you know a lot of salesmen get leery when you ask to drive your car. If you're like, hey, you know, walk into a dealership, yeah you just drive your car. They're gonna look at you like you have 20 heads. So luckily here, you know know the people here and yeah today is one of my lucky days and so yeah back to door controls this I guess uh, all right so here unlock and lock That's that. Here is, I believe, the window lock. Yeah, it is the window lock. And auto front and, I'm sorry, auto down and up. You just press the button once and the window goes down. Press it up again, just tap it and it goes back up. So that is only the front two windows for this side, driver and passenger. And this vehicle 
is equipped with the child safety locks, which I'm not too sure where that is in this vehicle, but it does have them. You know, if you got kids and you know you want to play it safe, you don't want them opening the door while on the highway or on the road anywhere, you just press it and they cannot get out. And let's take a look over here. We got the, uh, let's see what this is. I think that's traction, no, that's traction control right here. That is, I'm not sure what that is. I think that is lane keep assist. This vehicle is equipped with lane keep assist. So what that does, it lets you know if you're drifting in and out of, you know, the lanes and the markings. So it kind of sensors what's going on. Over here, I got the oil, cool, hot, and yeah, so that's the oil. Over here, we got the speedometer. You got the rev limiter, you know, going all the way around. And you got the speedometer here in the middle, which I kind of like digital speedometers a little better. You know, even, you know, I still like the regular one too, but I just like digital speedometers because of the fact that, you know, it has an exact readout and it just looks cool. It has that futuristic feeling of how speed is going to be read on cars. But it still is helpful to know how to read an analog speedometer, so just keep that in mind. So we have 100% for oil life. It is 95 degrees. Got the miles, so it is a new vehicle and the time which is 5 27 p.m and over here as i was showing you you got the gas and about the wheel yeah, i'll turn this thing off i don't want to waste too much gas so you know you got the steering wheel which is basically like medium size you know it's a normal size you get on hondas my hand's kind of big. I feel I can grip it pretty good on this steering wheel. So, yeah, you know, let me turn the vehicle back on so I can show you the controls and what it can do. Only thing I won't show you is the radio because obvious reasons of copyright. So, this is one of the selectors. Let's see how you can. Uh, oh, yep. So you can do with this is just navigate around this. As you can see. I think that's for the radio. And this is your volume control for it. You can either turn it up or turn it down. Up, down. That's how that works. We got over here, which is the menu options, more menu options. Here you got your economy, you got your settings, you got your music, you got your Bluetooth, and speedometer settings. I think if you want to set it to kilometers per hour, you can, or miles per hour. You mainly want to set it to miles per hour if you live in the United States, or if you live anywhere else, you want to use kilometers per hour. All right, so this is the, I guess, one of the Bluetooth buttons. I guess if you want to hang up or navigate through options, that's the voice thing. Let's test that out. And that's what pops up right there. Uh, phone call, music search, voice help, kind of link in voice settings. Oh, it's kind of catching my talk right now. So let's get out of that. And so, you know, you got the home button if, you know, you want to get back to the home button, which we are already at the main menu. We got the audio button right here. Controls your audio. Whoa, I'm going to have to block the audio there. And let's get back to the home menu. That was pretty insane. Not insane, but in, you know, copyright terms, it's insane. Got the phone button. connected obviously and we got the back button 
same as before. So you got the volume button. Can't really show too much of that for the mention reasons. Got the push auto right here. I believe that that's if you want to set a specific temperature, you can. This way, you know, it's a little more fuel efficient. And you know, over here is your climate controls, more climate controls for passenger side, but you got to set it, you know, like dual, and it goes from there. So, one second. And over here is just a little space. It's got a wire. Over here is the gear shift. You know, it's got your gear options. And yeah, so this is regular brake button. This right here is the electronic parking brake. What you can do with this, you know, if you're on a hill or anything like that, I think it has preset settings, you know, if you're on a hill or on anything like that, you know, you can just, you know, have a smoother experience because the car, you know, won't roll over or anything like that. Have too much strain on the transmission. So, yeah. And speaking of transmission, I'm not sure what speed this is, but I know it's an auto. Probably a four, six, six or eight speed. Also, what I forgot to mention, it has the four cylinder VTEC engine so it is a lot more fuel efficient over here we got the cup holders they're a pretty decent size nothing too big nothing too small you know, if you want to fit a large drink you can over here we got the center console let's take a look in there open this up and that's what it looks like show my spacers I'll wiggle my hand around so it's you know pretty decent size you know a little on the smaller side so to speak i mean you can't really fit like a lot a lot but you could fit some stuff and over here let's take a look in the glove box pull that down obviously it is empty and yeah you know it's I guess pretty decent size for a Civic. And yeah, and you got your lights here to look like when they're on. Got to turn them on at night for the full effect. And so yeah, that's pretty much all the interior I got. Let's turn on the hazard lights real quick. That's what they look like there. All right, now let's take a look in the back. You know, I'm a relatively tall guy, as I just mentioned, and I got a lot of room, I gotta say. You know, it's not too bad. Being as tall as I am, you know, it's it's pretty good size. You know, if I ever had to sit in the back for anything on one of these vehicles, and obviously the seat's gotta be pushed up, you know, I'd be pretty good. I'd be good, so. Yeah, that's what my legs look like. You know, I'm not cramped. You know, somebody like Tall Guy Car Reviews, you know, one of the YouTubers I watch, you know, whenever I have time, shout out to him. And shout out for his suggestion on how I should get started with my YouTube channel. If you guys want, I'll make a video on what made me think of it. And I don't know. So, yeah. So, leg room, not too bad. And over here, you see there's a lot more room. A lot of room still. That's, you know, passenger seat looks like. That's what the back looks like. Not too bad of a look. And so, yeah, it's the back seat of newer Honda Civic 2019. Oh, yeah, one of the things I wanted to show you that I just noticed is... For some reason over here, this might be... A cover where I was showing you earlier with that wire this is a regular power outlet open that up regular cigarette lighter and 
your USB. Open it up. Let's see if yeah, you gotta plug it into here, and that's how you get your music, which is this thing. That this thing goes in there, in there. Yep. And you plug your USB in here, and that's how you get your MP3 or iPod music. That's how that works. All right, guys, let's take her for a drive. Brakes are brand new, so they're very sharp. Be a little careful. Mm -hmm. Let's go back here. Around the building. Oh, they got a nice Cadillac ATSV. Use this thing. Pedal seems to be pretty good. Just make sure seat adjusted. Whoa! Alright. Now I'll come to the stop sign. So you know we can or I can safely adjust. All right, I think that's pretty good. All right, let's pull out and see what she can do. Throw this into sport mode. Whoa. <laughs> it's a little on the slower side, obviously. to go now it wants to go that was that was pretty sharp I mean it's nothing outrageous like a Hellcat or anything like that but it's it's got the moves it moves for a four-cylinder Civic all right so you know it feels pretty good being, being my size, it's not too bad. I mean, you got a pretty decent view of the road. Yeah, so let's see how this does around a quarter, around the corner. You know, I'm just gonna take it like normal. Not too bad. Not too bad. Very nice. Let's see uh nice brakes work. Oh, they work pretty good. Well they're not bad because they're new. And yeah, so pretty responsive, you know, for a normal Design Civic. Yeah, so it cruises is pretty nice. And I can't complain there. And I would say this is something that you could take on a road trip, you know, as long as you like Hondas and you like Civics, and it'll be my guest. used to how everything works, you know, in this car. So, Honda Civics, you know, are not really too quick unless you go for the SI or the Type R model. Well, particularly the Type R. And, you know, I, yeah, they're manual. So, 
they only come with a manual transmission. It's not automatic like this. Whoa, what's that Nissan doing? Looks like they want to race. Huh? They know they just accelerated kind of fast. And yeah, so overall, ride quality is pretty good. I'm comfortable. And yeah, you know, I can maneuver this thing pretty well, even, you know, in tight corners, but obviously, you know, you gotta do it with common sense. You know, you don't want to get yourself into an accident. And yeah, you know, it's if you go, you know, go slowly at, you know, decent speed. Corners aren't too bad. Ahead, I'll take this one just a little faster. Not too much faster, but just a little bit. We got a nice view of the countryside. Good old Lakewood, Howell, New Jersey. Not too bad, not too bad as far as that corner goes. I mean, it's not really like a sport design car, but it's it's pretty good. As far as handling goes, I mean, there's cars that are worse around corners. I'm sure you guys could probably name some in the comments section. And... It's not going... So if you just drive normally, yeah, you get a pretty decent gas mileage. This is 30 city and 38 highway, so that is outstanding. And so with that, overall, I would say a Honda Civic is a pretty good car if you like sedans that are fuel efficient. And yeah, this is a little bigger than the older Civics. I mean, I think. I mean, I haven't been in a Civic in quite some time so can't really tell oh, dude's on a nice bike so yeah even if you drive normally you can pick up speed fairly quick so yeah not too bad you know, ride quality is very smooth. I'm sure I said that already. And yeah, that's it's pretty good of a test drive. Like I said, you know, it's my first time with one of the dealerships actually letting me drive their cars. And I'd like to thank all of them. Thank the guy, Danny which is the guy that I talked to, that I know, that just gave me the keys and said I could take it out for a spin. In a few seconds, we are going to head back. And so yeah, the speedometer is digital speedometer, and I don't know if you gotta set it to analog or what, but it's it's very nice. Honda Civics are well known for digital speedometers and yeah they have been known for that for years. All right we are back. Back at good old Honda Universe. Let's pull this thing back to its original spot. It was in a different spot for, you know, when I recorded the video, obviously, but, yeah, so, I'm just going to get this thing into a spot. Alright, so it's got the backup camera, but, you know, I still want to be careful, because I don't want to hit this car. I don't want to hit anything because obviously it's not mine. All 
that's all I got. Let's turn this thing off. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.